So now I'm going to show you a couple of examples on how to multiply two two-digit numbers using box multiplication. So in our first example we've got 36 times 27. So first of all, draw yourself a box. So our first number that we had is 36. So if we split this number up into tens and units and write this across the box. And our second number was 27. So again, split this up into tens and units. So it's 20 and 7. And just put a multiplication sign in the top left hand corner just to let everybody know you're doing a multiplication. So for this box here, what we need to do is multiply the number at the top by the number on the side. So we need to do 30 times 20. A quick way to do this is to just ignore your zeros and add the zeros back on at the end. So if we do 3 times 2 is 6 and then add 2 zeros on. Uh, for this box here, we need to do 6 times 20. So again, ignore your zero here and just do 6 times 2, which is 12, and then add the zero back on. Uh, next box here, we have to multiply the number at the top by the number at the side. So we do 30 times 7. So again, you can ignore the zero here. So let's just do 3 times 7, which is 21, and then add the zero back on. And then the final box here, we have 6 times 7, which is 42. So once you've worked out your four numbers, all we need to do next is add these numbers up. So just add these up on the side of your page. So we've got 600, 210, 120, 42. So we've got 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6, 7, 8, 9. So our final answer is 972. Let's do another example. So example 2. <clears throat> this time let's work out 73 times by 19. So again, draw yourself a box. Time sign in the corner. So our first number that we have is 73. So if we write this across the top, so we've got 70 and 3. The second number is 19, so if we write this down the side, so we've got 110, which is 10, and we've got 9 units. So again, we just need to work out what these four numbers are now. So again, let's do this one. So we've got to do 70 times 10. Ignore your zeros, just do 7 times 1. 7 times 1 is 7. I covered up two zeros, so add these zeros back on. Next one here, I've got to do 3 times 10. I'm just going to ignore the zero because you won't get confused then on how many zeros you're adding on. So I'm just going to do 3 times 1 is 3 and then add the zero back on. So the next box here. I've got 70 times 9, so again, ignore your zero. 7 times 9 is 63, plus your zero. And then you've got the final box is 3 times 9, which is 27. So all you need to do now is add these four numbers up. So we've got 700, add 630, add 30, add 27. So we got 7, 8 and 13.